Some local workers are just arriving back from Haiti, and they've seen the aftermath for firsthand. News News' Valeria Beatty has their story tonight. After a 10-day trip through some of the hardest-hit areas in Haiti, some of the volunteers tell me that none of the pictures, none of the video that we see in our newscast can prepare one for a nation that's already struggling with basic needs. With 23 suitcases, a ton of medical supplies, and 12 volunteers, Matthew 25 Ministries set out on a trip to help relief efforts in Haiti. It was just completely different from anything I've seen. Um, the destruction went on and on. No matter how far we drove, there were still houses that were just completely crumbled. And Many are fleeing from the main cities to try to find refuge elsewhere, using whatever means they can to get by. I've just seen the people living in the tents. Not even always tents, you know, they could just be a sheet draped over a, a piece of rope. We looked down a river which was covered in garbage, and it's a river, and there's these huge tent cities just set up there, and there's kids out there bathing in the water. And Sanitation is a big concern. Without running water, disease and epidemics will become mainstream. But it's the individual stories that will stick with each volunteer. As a parent, Tim Meddy won't forget one particular one-and-a-half-year-old. We were at this orphanage. And the, the child, all he wanted to be is held. And, you know, it was a really hard for me, thing for me is because I know how my children are and they want to be held. And here's this child, has no family, they're in an orphanage. Even though he didn't say anything to me, I could feel just by him holding on to me and wanting just to lay on me and to be with me. That's, that's what I take. I really felt like. I received more from the people than I could even give to them. Each volunteer has memories that they brought back with them. Each one saying they got more out of the trip than they gave. Valerie Beatty, News 5. Uh, I'm sure it meant so much to them and to all of those kids they are helping. Haiti still needs a lot of help, and now Chile is asking for aid, too. So right now, the Red Cross says the best way for you to help both is to donate to its International Response Fund, and that way workers there can decide where your donation is best spent. You can contribute by visiting the As Seen on WLWT section of our